Hi there, thanks for joining. Uh, today we're just going to have a quick look at how you install the Fermata software onto your Arduino so that it can understand messages sent to it from Unity in this case, but basically from a, a PC, a computer. Okay, so if you haven't already done it, you will need to download and install the Arduino IDE. So you can see here from this is www.arduino.cc. This is the homepage for Arduino. Um, I tend to find these things just by googling them. Arduino, Arduino Home, wonderful. From software, hang on, stay back. Downloads, and we can. Here we are. Download the IDE, and they have here Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Uh, you can get a Windows installer or a zip file. Um, I actually think my version was installed from the Windows Store, but anyway, that's fine. So you can install that here. You can basically click on if you want a zip file, or the installer installs it like a any other Windows application, a zip file is uh, you just un unpack and then run it from there. Uh, so if you have a lockdown machine where you can't install, you don't have the admin account, then you, you use the zip file. Okay, so once you have Arduino installed, uh, here we go, this is the IDE. Hiding somewhere, here it is, okay. So now from here, Okay, so this is some other sketch. Um, from here, if I want to open up the uh, format, standard Fermata software, it's actually supplied with the IDE. So under examples, so under the file menu, examples, Fermata, and scroll down, you'll see there's quite a few different Fermata packages they offer. Standard Fermata is the one we're going to use. Now the other Fermata uh, versions support commuting using basically Fermata is a protocol so you send messages to the Arduino board and the Arduino board will interpret them and do the things it's told to do. So turn on an LED, you know, activate it, the servo, read values off it, and so forth. Read values off um, in IO pins, so you might have sensors or other switches or whatever connected to the Arduino so you can get the values uh, of the pins that are connected to those particular sensors, switches or whatever. Okay, so this Fermata software, which is open source, uh, will interpret those messages. Okay, so I need to connect, hold on, get the Arduino, so I have my trusty Arduino here. It's an Arduino Uno. I've got my USB cable, which is connected to the Arduino. Let me just connect that. Okay, so now that that's connected, we can see that if I go to the tools menu, we have under port, there's COM4. Now, because it's a USB, so the computer actually doesn't have any serial uh, ports, but the USB cable and the connection registers as a USB port in Windows. So it's using a standard Windows, US, um, just a USB serial driver. So having plugged that in, COM4 is now available as a COM port or serial port. And I can use, I can choose, this is the only port I can choose. Uh, once I have chosen that, I can check that this is working by doing get board info small as it is, this, this is telling me that it's an Arduino or Genuino Uno. Um, and there's a serial number, and that's lovely. I'm not going to check the serial number. Okay, so hit OK, um, and that just is just a way to confirm that we're actually connecting to the device. Uh, the other thing we can try doing, of course, is uploading the software. So I can hit this Upload button, button and we'll see down here at the, in this window down here, it's like an output window, it says compiling the sketch. So it's taking the source code 
and it's converting it into software that will run on the Arduino. Here we can see that it's it's now uploading, so it's done the compiler. This is telling us about it, and it's already finished the uploading. So that's all done. So it, it's actually that simple to install the software onto the Arduino. So all you need is you need the Arduino IDE. Uh, like I said, the software comes with it as examples. You can update these examples, so sometimes new versions uh, come out. And, and you can get new examples for new things. Um, and you can also, um, you can get new board types. And, and so this IDE is actually something you can extend. Um, actually, I didn't mention that before, but I already had the b correct board type chosen. Uh, but if you've just installed the software fresh, of course, it's not gonna know which board you, you have. So you need to actually choose that. So you go tools, board, and then at the top here in the boards submenu, you can see there's boards manager. So if you can't find your actual board here in this list, then you can go to boards manager. I'm just clicking on that now. And you can see that they've got a list of different boards that you can install. So the, the, the boards themselves are they're, they're basically like a definition of what the hardware is like. So you can then install that and then that configures the compiler inside the IDE so it knows how to uh, build the software for your board and how to install it. But I don't need to worry about that. But just so you know, that's, uh, that's something else. So board, port, and get board info are the things you can do here from the tools menu. Uh, you've also got the serial monitor. If you want to type messages and maybe see what comes back from the Arduino. Now, in this case, because it's running standard for Marta, it's going to send me this message here every time I connect to it with this uh, monitor. All this means, this this is actually trying to tell me in, in for Marta protocol um, format that this is the standard for Marta software that's installed. <coughs> Uh, the other thing we can see here is that there's a board rate. So this is how fast the COM port is. So you can configure that as well. Uh, tools port. Actually, actually you can't there. No, so you don't configure that there. It, it actually just gets it from the port. Right. Um, the only place you need to configure it is on this monitor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and by the way, the 57600 is the speed by default that Fermata uses. So that's actually built into the software. In fact, if we search for that in here, 57600, we can see here it is. So Fermata.begin, th this is where it's choosing what speed to use. So you can change this and actually make your Fermata messages transfer, transfer quicker. But for the moment, let's leave everything nice and standard. So anyway, that is how you install the Fermata software on your board. And once you've done that, then you can use the creation.arduino package in Unity to talk to your Arduino board. Thank you for joining. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Um, feel free to subscribe and I hope this was helpful. Thank you.